This video is a quick guide to some useful keywords that work well in most or all of the GCSE units. People often forget what they mean or forget to use them, so here is your reminder. In geography, human means anything to do with people. Physical means to do with nature. Some topics like natural hazards involve much more physical geography than human because they're mostly about nature. Other topics such as global development are more human than physical because they generally focus on people. Mind you, every topic involves a little bit of both human and physical geography somewhere. If we're looking at global development and trying to figure out why a rich country is, well, rich, then we need to look at reasons that could be to do with the people, like having a stable government, or to do with nature, like the climate of the country. That is why both human and physical geography are important. They work separately, but always link up to each other. Urban areas are places where the landscape is mostly made up of things humans have built, like roads, houses and businesses. Rural areas are the opposite. They are places where the landscape is mostly natural, being covered by plants, trees and fields. A small village wouldn't be considered urban because even though there are buildings there, it's still surrounded by nature. Central Park in New York City might be largely natural, but we'd still say it's an urban area because it's surrounded by buildings and roads. In geography, we often have to look at things with a balanced view. That means thinking about different ways of looking at something, considering different points of view, or thinking about both good and bad. With that last thing, good and bad, there are quite a few different words we use in geography instead, so it's good to know these. The word costs are the bad things associated with something, and are also called challenges or negatives. Benefits are the good things associated with something and are also called opportunities or positives. For example, if a new airport runway is built, it can have lots of good impacts, also known as benefits or opportunities. These could include easier transport for people, boosting tourism, creating jobs in the airport itself and helping nearby businesses to grow. On the other hand, there are bad things, also known as challenges or costs. More air and noise pollution from the planes, building the runway on natural areas and moving people out of houses that might be in the way all count as those negative things. So remember, geography will often require you to give a balanced view, and those words are the things that you might see when it's time to do that. Stakeholders are different groups of people who have an interest in something or are affected by it. For example, a typical school has lots of stakeholders. Students, teachers, parents, the government. They are all people who are interested in what happens at the school, are affected by it, or both. The things we study in geography are no different. If a UK town builds a sea wall, some people, like local residents, might think that it's great but environmentalists would be opposed to it. This means that you can't really say it's completely good or completely bad. Every stakeholder has their own opinion, and that's why it's an important key word. Infrastructure is the word we give to anything humans built that are designed to organize and connect other things together. Roads, railways, power lines, water pipes, gas pipes. All of it is designed to help keep other things in a society working well. You'll hear this word in lots of different geography topics. When learning about development, building infrastructure can be a great way to help a country progress towards a better quality of life. Infrastructure is also commonly damaged during a natural disaster like an earthquake or volcano. People migrate to urban areas because of the better infrastructure. You get the point, it's a good word to know. Mitigate is also a great word. It's not just a geography keyword either. Once you know what it means, you'll probably end up realizing there are a lot of times you can use it in everyday life. To mitigate means to reduce the negative effects of something. 
This is useful because there are many things humans like to try and control but can't stop completely. Floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and lots more. We can't prevent these things from happening entirely, but there are many ways that we can mitigate their impacts. So if you ever find yourself wanting to write a clunky sounding sentence like They made it less bad by Change it to They mitigate it by And it sounds so much better. In geography, management tends to be used to describe when humans try and get involved to change something, usually a natural process. This one pops up everywhere. We manage our coastlines by building sea defences. We manage natural hazard risk by inventing ways to protect people. We manage water shortages by finding ways to increase supply. You'll see it popping up all the time, so it's definitely another word you want to get to grips with. And this is the end of part two of geography terms you must know. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you wish to be notified when we upload a new video, you know it, hit the little bell dinghy to be notified. Also, if you enjoyed this type of video, please let us know in the comments because we would love to consider making more in the future. As always, you've been listening to The Mountain Man and watching the work of Michael Deluxe. Remember, Keep it simple.